Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a pretty busy day today for the next two, three days, I would say. Uh, Summer Stars come out. We have a new SBC. It's going to be for the new Jardin Shakiri card. And this one's interesting because he actually has a Shakiri body type, okay? So very interesting stuff there. Uh, we're taking a look at someone that is 5'7", medium, medium work rates, left-footed, 5-star skills, 4-star weak foot. Uh, so by default, the 5-star skills obviously is a very nice thing to have uh, for the meta of this game. Player traits in game, he has the flare trait, so no finesse shot trait, no outside foot shot trait. It's not really a big deal these players don't have those traits. Guys, I use plenty of players that don't. And they still perform well. It's just for me to let you guys know that they don't have it, right? Uh, 97 acceleration, 93 for sprint speed. Uh, a card like this being medium, medium work rated, I think the base card stats for pace is already pretty decent as it is because it's important that his acceleration is high. But we do want to increase his dribbling stats in the reactions, ball control, and dribbling department uh, to make him as responsive as possible because I am curious to see how his actual body type performs in game because this card... Again, has very decent pace. He's got 91 attacking positioning, so it suggests to me that it would be a card that I mostly use left mid, right mid, lamb, ram, cam. Not necessarily as a striker, unless he's lined up with somebody else next to him. I prefer not to have strikers like this uh, by themselves up top, but maybe his attacking AI surprises me. Who knows? Uh, he's got 99 shot power, 99 long shots, which is pretty decent. He even has 99 curve, which... I guess could do with the finesse shots. We'll see. Uh, but we do need to increase the finishing as much as possible to work with that 99 shot power and 92 composure. Base card stats are passing very good for this card. Dribbling also very good. We do need to improve that reactions as much as possible, though. Uh, and then he has 88 stamina, which again suggests that he'd be a pretty cool card to use mostly in the cam position. Uh, 87 for strength to work with his body type and then 75 for aggression. So it uh, definitely looks like a very interesting card. To be honest, he could... He could potentially play like a Coutinho card. No BS. He actually could potentially play like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to play him in the uh, striker position for now. Uh, play him in the right striker area with Hyungman Sun at Cam. Uh, instructions will only be balanced for both players, but we're going to have them on fast buildup to kind of test out his attacking AI and force it out of him a little bit, see if he makes those angled runs uh, and all of that good stuff. So... Uh, yeah, we'll try out the 4-1-2-2, and, two and, two, and we will see how he plays in-game. I put the camera at the bottom, because I know some of you guys like to see the, uh, controls, so... The 4-1-2-2. And two and two. He has, like, really cool, uh, close control dribbling, actually. I like that. Let's see what he's like under pressure, though. Ooh. Ooh, he hits the finesse shots with power, eh? Okay, okay, I do like that. His dribbling under pressure is actually really solid. It's because he's like... His, uh, his body type is like very physical oriented and it's nice to work with the dribbling for sure. You do notice a little bit of the dribbling stats, but like not enough for you to dislike the card by any means. Like it's actually fun to use for sure. Ooh, he still hits that nice, too. I kind of needed to settle the ball down a little bit right there for me to hit a better shot. Um, it does seem like he hits really good finesse shots, though, because that's not like a super high percentage strike that he takes right there. First time with Phil Foden. Um, yeah, but I like to I, I like to try out like shots that just doesn't really make much sense to shoot, but we go for it anyways. Oh, I wanted to try out some of the dribbling right there. I love the the roulette. I always tell people this because it's kind of like a controlled skill move in a way. Oh, I try to get the finesse shot angle there too. Ooh. 
Yeah, you see what I mean by the whole like body thing? Ball roll finesse. Oh, he still hits that pretty nice from that angle, to be fair. Yeah, he has like this, uh, his body type allows him to be physical, but use his dribbling at the same time, which is definitely very cool. Penalty? Nice. We ended up getting that. Let's see what his penalties is like. His penalties is an 85. Chip down the middle? Ah, I feel like he's going to stay there. Oh, we got it. Very nice. Um, I'm going to switch him to the cam position. This is this is completely personal preference based. I don't like his medium medium at striker. Not a bad thing at all. This is completely personal preference. Uh, cards like this, again, I usually like to use in the cam position. Same thing with like Coutinho and stuff. So uh, let me go, go ahead and try him out there. Ooh, with his weak foot, too. Love that run that he does right there, too. Really, really good. It's I'm telling you guys, man. This is, it's really personal preference based, but I just... In the camp position, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's like draw Felix all over again, you know? <laughs> Make this pass. It's just a build-up. I want to see like what types of runs that they do. Like, right there. And then I go upwards, he adjusts, you see? And then I could go for a finesse shot, even though the ball was played a little bit too much. But it's that cost, a constant adjustment that I like that players do. So he has it attacking AI, but because of the medium medium work rates, let me just try a long one from here. Why not? Uh, because of the medium medium work rates, it's just I don't know, man. It's just the way he moves in that area is way better. Cards like this in the ram position, because of that left foot, maybe potentially being a dirty finesse shot, is definitely nice to work with. Um, but Cam is definitely super super nice. Oh, that touch was weird. I did not expect that. You know, I couldn't tell you what command that was, but... FIFA mechanics, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh! Ooh! Oh! Oh, I thought I got that there. Oh, what are you doing? We made it work, though. You see why I test out the shot cancel for you guys? Because I just need you guys to see some of the, like, the emphasis touches that they might take from time to time. Which he did do there like two times, but it did work out in the end. But sometimes you want those players to do, be able to do it super, super quick. To kind of open up the space. Like quick touches. Get the animation out of the defender. Weak foot strike. Nice. Very, very nice. His finishing is coming off super nice. Oh, well, that one he fluffs completely, eh? Weird one, that one. I feel like that's like base card stats for finishing that like kind of shows the most, you know? That's why I always like trust the uh, base card stats more than the uh, upgrade. Because 98 from no pressure, I mean, I feel like I could score that, you know? Jeez, he hits really direct finesse shots. If I put more power into that, I probably could have hit a nice shot there. Oh, again, eh? Okay. Those are, hey, listen, the shots I'm taking, by the way, is like you would expect. Like, oh, yeah, maybe he hits them, you know? They're low percentage strikes, guys, in FIFA. Like, FIFA terms are low percentage, but I like to try them anyways, you know? But I like that he does that shooting animation. That shooting animation is the best one in this game, so... Yep. What? It hit off Jones? Oh my god, it hits his... That I'm pretty sure that hits his arm to go in. Like, what?
Oh! I'm sorry. I was, I was, I was just, I was in the zone right there. I was in the zone right there. See, that's what you work for, right? You work for those little small, intricate dribbles with him to get those finesse shot angles. Because the scoop turn, man, the scoop turn to get into position is really, really awesome to work with. Oh, it actually wins that ball in the air. Oh, man. Try to do, like, one more. Oh, from that angle? You know what? Not too bad. That's a really, really low angle, low percent strike angle to uh, hit it from. Always hard to pass Virgil for those uh, big flick ups. You have to be like kind of far from him to uh, maybe get it off. You know. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Shakiri card. So we gave him a marksman chemistry style to increase his dribbling and his finishing as much as possible while giving him a little bit of extra strength. So in regards to his dribbling in-game, guys, because of his body type being the Shakiri body type, uh, he dribbles as you would expect him to dribble in real life, right? He's kind of like a physical type of dribbler, right? Now, for me personally, for the gameplay of how FIFA kind of plays out, I prefer a card like Coutinho over this card because of that lean body type that he has. Yes, it is easier to get the ball off of Coutinho, but it's just more of a gameplay compensator when he has that body type to be able to left stick dribble to work with that five-star skill that he has as well. But by no means is the body type that Shakiri has, like it doesn't affect the card that much. It's just a cool thing to work with because he's a physical dribbler right so when he dribbles and does skill moves you can uh, expect this physical aspect to him right which is cool because you know he has 97 strength to work with that body type he's very stocky right so it's kind of nice to be able to outbody people and then play and move with him as much as possible uh, as usual, for me personally, guys, I like to use a card like this in the left mid, right mid. He really, really feels like a right winger. Like, he feels like a Ram right wing in game, uh, mostly. But we were trying him out in the Cam and Striker position to kind of test out his attacking AI. It is a card that I see mostly being played in that Cam, Lamb, Ram, left mid, right mid, left wing, right wing position. I feel like he'd play those roles really, really well. This is definitely a very fun card for sure. I think EA did a good job with Jardin Shakiri, especially with the five-star skill moves. Uh, the price right now for the SBC, 41k, 100k, um, and then the Premier League one. So what? This is going to be like around like, I would say, 250k-ish, 250k-ish, 300k for what he how he performs in game. The Liverpool links, Premier League links, medium, medium work rates to work with his body type. I think the card is pretty cool, man, to be honest with you. I don't think he's as good as someone like Flashback Coutinho personally. I really, really like using Flashback Coutinho. Uh, love the way that he moves across the pitch and everything. Uh, but I still think that this card is very solid for what it is. The one thing I will say is that in some cases, you will notice the finishing base card stats at 88 from time to time. But that's mostly from shots that are not like high percentage FIFA strikes, in my opinion. So um, I definitely think that EA did a good job with this card, to be fair. Uh, it's weird that they don't have the third squad yet because people have already completed these ones. But I still think it's a pretty cool SBC for what it is. Because if that's 150k so far, he's probably going to be like around like 250, 300 if you were to buy it. But then there's SBC fodder with all the new SBCs that they released for the 83 pluses and all of that. It, it's a pretty cool card. I think you guys will enjoy him. The five-star skills is a really, really big deal, guys, especially since he has the high shot power at 99.2. But with 88, 88 stamina, it kind of makes him linear to play in certain positions, especially with the medium-medium work rates. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys. Busy day today.